This VAWatchdog.org news video is brought to you by Bergman and Moore, LLC. Former VA attorneys now fighting VA for you. Call Bergman and Moore at 877-838-2889 or on the web at vetlawyers.com. The government is tonight refusing to help military men who have fallen ill years after working on a secret project. It was an operation that involved dangerous chemicals. CBS 5 investigative reporter Anna Werner on why the Defense Department is turning its back now on the men once trusted with a very sensitive mission. They worked on a hazardous, top-secret experiment called Project Shad, America's race against the Russians in the 1960s to develop biological and chemical weapons. Now many of those men are sick and asking why their government won't take care of them. In 1965, Lieutenant Jack Alderson commanded one of the smallest fleets in the Navy, just five light tugboats. But his mission was so important, it was authorized directly by the president. We were told that we could never speak about it because what we did was secret. A secret mission codenamed Project Shad, testing chemical and biological weapons using monkeys held in cages on the open decks. Military planes would spray the boats with VX nerve gas, sarin gas, E. coli, and other deadly microbes. It was a witch's brew as far as we were concerned. Sailors weren't supposed to be exposed, but they were, both in the tests and the cleanup afterwards. We were told that if we followed all the safety precautions and we lived within the rules, we were going to be safe and we were going to be okay. We are finding out now that was not true. Well, it got so I couldn't hardly swallow. Thirty years later, Bob Reinhardt and other crew members began suffering from breathing problems and rare cancers. But when they went to the Veterans Administration for medical care, they found themselves in a catch-22. If you told anybody, they said they'd get you for treason. And because it was top secret, there was nothing in their service records about Project Shad. I and other Shad veterans would go to the Veterans Administration and others. They basically said, oh, our government would never do anything like that. There's no proof of this. No proof, no veterans benefits. So Alderson decided to gather that proof, even at the risk of going to prison. He took his case to Northern California Congressman Mike Thompson. There was, uh, there was a cover-up. A cover-up, he says, by the Department of Defense. To a seated member of Congress, they denied there was ever a Project Shad. Even though Thompson has top-secret clearance. And then came back when they, when they finally did admit that there was a Project Shad, lied to me again by saying that there were no dangerous chemicals used. So in 2001, Thompson forced the military to begin declassifying Project Shad, which was supposed to clear the way for more than 5,000 veterans to get their benefits. Seven years later, uh, they're still waiting. I feel we were betrayed. These are men who put on the U.S. military uniform, uh, put their life on the line for our country, uh, were lied to, exposed to dangerous chemicals that in many cases uh, made, made them ill, in some cases probably uh, led to their uh, early, uh, early death, and, uh, and they were lied to by the military. And it's unacceptable. So why is the Department of Defense still turning these veterans down for benefits? Because DOD claims the link between Project Shad and their health problems has not been proven. But Congressman Thompson says they need help now, and this month he plans to introduce legislation yet again to make that happen. Anna Werner, CBS 5. VAWatchdog.org, the nation's number one independent veterans website. On the web at VAWatchdog.org.